and they were trying to talk me, my first mind will be to build that out and help me, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you know, I, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Then was my words trying to come out, and I would find myself whispering it. But they no fight voice. you more when you do. Oh, yeah. When you try to feel to, Jesus, yeah. they fight you more. It was this one house we they lived come. in in Bridgeton, yeah. and they were messing with me there. I believe that that house was so spirit strong. Like, that was my experience. Like, my aunties and uncles and them used to tell me whatever. And I didn't believe it at first, but then I knew who my grandmother was, and I started seeing things what she was getting into, and then I started really taking her serious because, mm. you know, but... I still wasn't in it, but it was it was like a kid's like I would tell my friends, me and my friends would go over my grandma's house just because we thought it was a spook house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we you know, like we would be me and my cousin Mark. He he uh, like a uh, one month younger than me. We used to be in grandma's house like. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. we we used to be you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it just, so she had her, like a Ouija board and everything. She had it like you know she her she was she had her uh, like coffee table and and. and and the coffee table had two openings right there and then it had that cabinet like a whole cabinet the cabinet would be full of games and she would have like the uh ouija board under a, a chess board game or something like that and we would be looking at it and i mean her because you don't understand we were kids and we would walk in on conversations they were having this ain't nothing she ended up telling me stuff when i got older this ain't nothing that i'm just saying oh i heard somebody told me i was to walk in and they'll be, she'll be talking about, talking to my mom, a serious conversation. I just saw my grandfather and he's doing fine. Like conversations like that. Right. My grandmother was so used to seeing spirits. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing to her. She just like, because she always used to say, man, you, if you go there, you put your mind there. She caught the third eye. You open it up. You open it. You can't just close it like that. Have you ever seen, I'm sorry, I love New York. Her mom always says, my third eye don't lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ever seen that? Yes. <laughs> no, but that the, the third eye is like it's like you, how a third eye is deeper than a, in, in a, is a deeper than an intuition. It's deeper. A third eye is something you got to tune into. Stuff. Yeah, it's um, and that's that degree of measurement and you, and how you much you know for it to happen. Because sometimes you instinct, you just know you're aware it's going to happen or it's happened. It just needs to be physically consummated.